Hello guys, what's up? Today I'll be reviewing the Airbus Beluga XL by NG New Generation Models in 1400 scale. So before I move on to the box, uh, let me share some information about Airbus and uh, Airbus Beluga XL. Airbus SE is a European multinational aerospace corporation. The SE in the name means it is a Societas Europea, which enables it to be registered as European rather than Dutch. As of 2019, Airbus is the world's largest airliner manufacturer and took the most airliner orders. Airbus is registered in the Netherlands. Its shares are traded in France, Germany, and Spain. It designs and manufactures and sells civil and military aerospace products worldwide and manufactures aircraft in the European Union and various other countries. The company has three divisions, commercial aircraft, defense and space, and helicopters, the third being the largest in its industry in terms of revenues and turbine helicopter deliveries. They were founded on the 18th of December 1970 as Airbus Industry GIE. <laughs> the Airbus Beluga XL is a large transport aircraft based on the A330-200 freighter airliner built by Airbus to replace the original Airbus Beluga in the movement to over of oversized aircraft components like wings. The aircraft made its first flight on 19th July 2018 and received its type certification on 30th, 30th November 2019. The Beluga XL entered service with Airbus Transport on 9th of January 2020, which made its first operational flight and by the 20th of January, had entered full-time service. Now let's move on to the box. So, Beluga XL, the picture of the aircraft. Oh, and you can see a very nice background of the box with the the Airbus the Airbus uh logo on uh from the tail and uh beluga whale with with the beluga whale on it and airbus registration and and uh, ng models logo oh uh, let's move on to the back uh the actually the same but with uh but with uh warnings at the bottom and it's the top the right side the bottom the left now let's open this up okay guys now oh, I have the model out of its packaging and we will start here on the port side. So first we have the cockpit windows and um I think um I don't think you can see clearly on the gear door, but it actually says XL, which is part of the registration. Um, right there, at the gear door. And you can see the nice whale design of the Beluga whale. It's its mouth and the eye and also you will notice uh th this lining uh which is uh, this detailed lining this uh this is the door where 
uh, some of the air airplane parts made by Airbus. So, they they put it in inside of this this air this part, and then and then it tr and then the Beluga XL transport it to to the Toulouse uh France Airbus factory so um yeah and on the wings uh you'll see the inboard landing lights and i think it's just over right there right there and um, the engines uh, for this this aircraft and just like the A330 the freighter and the passenger version they use these um, Rolls-Royce Trent 772B-60 so this is what they use on their new Airbus Beluga aircraft. And I'll show you the front of the engines. Okay, now we're at the front of the engines and you can uh clearly see the the fan blades in there. It's right just in there. Oops. Same on this side. Wait, right there. Now let's go to the edge of the wings. Okay, here we are at the edge of the wings where you see the red navigation light and the blue winglet. Okay, here we are at the rear of the aircraft, but. Before we go to move to the tail part, uh, you'll see the Airbus Beluga XL titles, and beside beside the, that, you'll see the registration, which is F dash W B X L, and. Also, um, you'll see that you can see that uh, the tail is very detailed with the Airbus logo on it. Now I'll take you guys to the back. Oh, and uh, before that, um, on the horizontal stabilizers, you'll see um. you'll see um um these and yeah that is for the for the aircraft uh for the aircraft uh not to be too he not to be too heavy while it's on in flight uh just like the 747 shuttle carrier aircraft they had these uh, on the on the 747 stabilizers and as it carries the shuttle, it can, um, there is, uh, still some weight on it. And now, to the APU. Uh, there's the APU, the auxiliary power unit exhaust hole now we're on the starboard side of the aircraft where you see the cockpit windows the beluga whale design the airbus beluga xl titles on the center on each side the wings the rolls royce trent 772b-60 engine And um, 
on the rear of the aircraft uh you'll see uh a, a car or uh, the re the rear cargo container door right there the registration and the airbus logo on the tail and also the uh The green navigation light and the uh, blue winglet. Okay, now let's check the bottom part and the top part of the aircraft. Okay, here's the bottom of the big Beluga XL aircraft where you see the nose gear and the gear door. And you, there's a, there's a a hatch there at the bottom of the airplane's body uh that's where the that's where the flight crew enter when they are doing a test flight on their airbus beluga aircraft the beluga x uh xl logo there's a ho hole on the stand hole for the stand between the e the letter e and the letter l the main landing gear, and the wings, the engines, flap sides, and ailerons, the blue winglet, same on this side, but with the registration, right there, and, and also, you'll see, uh, these two long antennas, and I'm not sure what they are for, but if you know, just leave a comment. And wait. there is another um a door at the rear, bottom rear. Uh, I think um that is usually um for the tail strike, or for the APU. I honestly not sure but if you know just leave a comment the horizontal stabilizers okay okay here we are at the top of the airplane where you see the top view of the cockpit windows this uh this gigantic cargo door uh You'll see two red dots. Those are the anti-collision beacon lights. We have an antenna. There's two more. Now let's check out the wings. Flaps, slats, ailerons, and spoilers. The engines. And also, uh, those two uh, markings, uh, those wordings. Wait, I don't think... Oh, right there, there. Uh, you can't even read it clearly, but it actually says, "Do not walk outside this area," and that is to remind the aircraft engineers not to step on the moving parts of the wing during inspection. On the edge, we have the winglet. There, same on this side. On the, we have the tail, at the rear, we have the horizontal stabilizers, very detailed. This is... Alright folks, I think uh, it's about time I wrap this video up and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, see you next time.